Hello everyone, today I want to go over a little bit about the basic of using ZBrush tools, especially with the draw size and brushes difference, and how do you, you know, play around with the screen and adjust to the angle that you want. So to start, I want to go over that you can always pull out a sphere, in this case this is a polysphere. Um, you can always go into Subtool here and Append and add a suco. So let's say you want to use a cube. In this case, they're overlaying on top of each other like this. So there are two, two different subtool and they're not the same. They, it's like you put um, two things in the back. They're all in one back, but they're not the same thing, if that makes sense. Um, so also you can, if you want to rotate it, so ZBrush is really like clay and you can you know, scope it as you go using different tools. Um, and it is always in the 3D dimensions. It's never really 2D as I have been using it so far. Um, you can rotate it just by holding on the background and drag it like this. Um, since right now it's a few, you can't really see the difference. So I'm going to build this over here. So when I drag it, you will be able to see the difference, like this, right? Okay. So this area, this bar, is the timeline. So you can always go back to originally where you started, or, you know, you can always adjust you know, if you want to go back to somewhere and start, like at that point, you can always go back. So this is the timeline here. And for you, if you want to, you know, move it up and down, left or right, instead of, you know, rotating the sphere, you can always use this tool. It's called Move. So you will click on it and drag it left or right, up and down. And if you want to zoom in, this zoom 3D, that's why you click on it, you drag to the right, it will zoom in, drag to the left, zoom out, up, zoom out, down, zoom in. Let's say if you zoom in too much and you just want it to be quick and you know, put it where it it's supposed to be you click frame once and it will put it back to you know the maximum size within the screen um, okay let's go over the brush so in the brush um, all these different subtool brushes is already within your ZBrush um, there are you know shortcuts for sure to make this process faster and easier when you come into the screen. Um, let's say if I want brush um, build up, so it would be in here, this one, clay build up. But because this tool, it has a shortcut, start with a BC. So let's say if you want, you know, BCB, which is this, the one that we already have right now. If you want the clay tube, it will be BCT. So now we're in clay build up with this option here, intensity, and also draw size here. Um, what it means is like the draw size, the smaller it is, the smaller the brushes are. Compare if you go up, will be like this. And in this case, you can see, you know, we are building it up, like adding clay as we go, like here, because we have Z add on. 
and will seize up, meaning that it takes away the clay like this. So it will create a concave area, like like scooping out ice cream kind of. Like you just you know take away something instead of adding it on. And intensity meaning you know how much that you take away or adding like each time you draw on the object. Um, let's say if you go up to 86, right? You will see that it it is a dr dramatic dramatic um you will see it is a dramatic difference. And if you go down. You know, it takes like a lot more stroke for you to have the same effect as this one, the one that has a higher intensity. So clay buildup is only one of the tool that they have. Um, they also have inflate, which is B I N, which I use a lot and so it's like you know if you ever like play with balloon you you try to you know play it and it usually is very like rounded structure because um, of this the way this tool is set up um, and there's another tool that can make it flat which is BFA in this case you can make anything you know flat like give it a surface if you look at it on the side um, if you want to build like make it a smaller draw size you want to build this area to like an angular edge you can do that like that. You know, seeing this side compared to this side. Um, you can also zoom in to make it easier. So this is um, what's the simple basic tools that you need to know moving forward um, when you want to learn more about this application. Um, this is, you know, everything, everyday uses um, like basic of what ZBrush really is.